the Detroit Lions should be in the market for a linebacker at free agency. Will Levante David be one of them? Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate. If this is your first time here, we talk all things about the Detroit Lions, and we make videos almost every day. So consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, trying to get to 8K by Super Bowl Sunday. You can help us out. At the end of the 2022 NFL season, the Detroit Lions had six linebackers on their roster. Those six linebackers were Malcolm Rodriguez, Chris Board, Josh Woods, Alex Anzalone, Derek Barnes, and Anthony Pittman. And for the most part, it was Anzalone, Rodriguez, and Derek Barnes that saw the most action during the season. And we were worried about the linebacker position during the that leading into the season. But Anzalone stepped up on his one-year deal, had a bunch of tackles, and really was the defensive leader when it came to the linebacker position. And we had Malcolm Rodriguez be the hidden gem that we all thought he could be once training camp came. But the Detroit Lions will be in the market for some defense, and linebacker will most likely be one of those positions. And a free agent that will be available is linebacker Levante David from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, Levante said he wanted to retire in Tampa and finish his career there, but the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are kind of a ship without a captain right now. Will Tom Brady return? Will Todd Bowles remain the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? And what are they going to do with their running game? The running backs for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their playoff game this year had 27 yards total for the entire game. So I'm not sure if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are closer or further away than they were in 2020 when they won the Super Bowl. But Levante David will be a coveted free agent in this year's free agency. Now, I know a lot of folks are looking at Tremaine Edmonds, and he could be a possibility as well. I do think Brad Holmes is going to make a couple of mid-tier moves in free agency. He could sign a high-tier player as well. Last year, Bobby Wagner, coming off 10 seasons, was still playing, was very coveted. We had Allen Robinson. He didn't really pan out, and some other guys as well. This year, the free agent market is not that huge, and it's not a lot of players that really can make a difference when it comes to the NFL teams. Well, FanDuel has him as the second best linebacker hitting free agency this year. Here's what they had to say. Levante David has experience. The three-time All-Pro linebacker has 166 regular season games and a Super Bowl ring under his belt, making him appealing to all contenders. He was also productive once again with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, finishing with 124 tackles, his most since 2015, five defended passes, and a forced fumble. The 32-year-old is one of the best at his position, so don't be surprised if he ends up being the most targeted linebacker in free agency. When it comes to a free agent linebacker, remember what Brad Holmes had to say about drafting a linebacker high. We wind up taking one, which was Malcolm Rodriguez, in the sixth round. So I do believe that he could wind up signing a linebacker in free agency. Now, according to Spot Track, Levante David's estimated market value will sit at $9.7 million, and he's probably going to look for a multi-year deal. So if you are Brad Holmes and he's looking to get $9 million a year, $9 to $10 million a year, would you consider signing him? One thing I can say about Brad Holmes is he really doesn't break the bank when it comes to free agents. I think Jamal Williams signed a two-year, $14 million deal. The highest thing I think we he did was DJ Chark, which was a fully guaranteed $10 million, uh, although it was spread out over three seasons. So let me know in the comments below. I, for one, would love to see Levante David. We saw what Bobby Wagner was able to do, and he's been in the league for quite some time. He didn't really lose any production over there. And from this year, Levante was all over the place, even though he's been in the league for over 10 years, going on his 12th season. That, to me, seems like something that Brad Holmes would probably do. The issue now is, of course, if he wanted to come here and could we entice him with the money? He wants to be on a contender, and I think the Detroit Lions showed a lot of people what we are trending toward, and we even have free agents that are already part of the team that want to stay and are willing to take a pay cut to do just that. I would love to see something like this. I do suspect a couple of mid to high tier free agent, nothing too splashy, but maybe making a little more noise than we're used to him making. Remember that this is the most money that Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell will have since they took over 
with management with the Detroit Lions. So let me know what you feel in the comments below about Levante David or any other linebacker that you might be interested in the Detroit Lions signing. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so because as the offseason approaches, we will be pushing out a lot of content. Also, check out Syndicate Sports Detroit and Syndicate Sports Detroit XL for live streams and coverage of your favorite Michigan teams. Be sure to check it out. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And remember, the Lions aren't coming. They're already here.